Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Effortless Fashion. As usual, I'm your host, Corey. Now, if you remember in the last episode, I and my co-host, Radhika, we spoke about summer wear. And one of the things we touched on heavily was floral. I realized I didn't teach you guys exactly how to put a floral outfit together. So that's what this episode is dedicated to. If you haven't seen the last episode you can check the link at the end of this video to see now the first rule of wearing floral is not to put too much floral into your outfit what I mean by that is don't wear too many outfits with floral in it so for example you have a shirt that's floral on you don't want the pants and uh, even the shoe you don't want the pants and even the shoes to be floral and yes you do have floral shoes so in other words less is more so if you remember so if you remember some of my looks from last week it was only one item that was floral and the rest was plain that was intentional generally you don't want more than two items on your outfit that is floral and you know the floral can be in your shoes your socks your pants or shorts your shirt your blazer or your pocket square so out of all these you don't want the most floral you should wear is two i prefer to try one still but you can get away with two if you know what you're doing so like i said last week you don't want to wear more than one pattern together so you don't want to wear like a floral shirt and plaid pants or shorts you want to wear like a floral shirt and a solid color pants or vice versa if you're wearing a floral shorts or pants you wear a solid color shirt smaller floral designs are easier to match than the larger ones this shirt for example is a larger floral it's easier to get away with the smaller one if you're trying not to stand out too much the bigger ones are bold patterns and they stand out more so it depends on your taste Remember also that floral is not for the workplace. This is casual wear, so it's not something to wear to work. Also, in matching floral, it's good to tie in a color from the floral to the rest of your outfit. For example, if you remember a couple of my looks from last week, I tie in, say for example, this shirt that I'm wearing now, the red on it, I tied it into the shorts and even to the sneakers that I was wearing. So I normally try to tie in the most bold color in the floral. So the most bold color in this, for example, would be the red. It's the most outstanding one. I could go black as well, but the red is a more outstanding color. So always try to tie in the rest of your outfit to a color that is in the floral. If you wish to integrate a blazer into the floral look, it depends on where the floral is. If it's a floral shirt, you would wear a solid color blazer. And if the blazer is floral, you wear a solid color shirt beneath. Now, if you're trying to integrate more than one floral look into your outfit, you try to separate them. You don't want them to be close to each other. So, for example, close would mean, for example, you're wearing a floral blazer and a floral shirt under there exactly beside each other. And that won't look good. That would cause a clash. Now, you just want to create some distance between the two. Say, for example, you're wearing floral sneakers. You could wear a floral shirt on top or a blazer. Or, for example, you're wearing a floral shirt with a solid blazer over it. You could wear a floral pocket tie because the blazer, the plain blazer will act as a buffer between the two. It separates them. And if you're in a floral shirt like this, for example, you could wear a t-shirt underneath and open it up. That type of look would be good for the beach, for example. Well, there you have it. It's a short video this week, but I'm sure you understand. I hope you enjoyed it. Try out a few of these looks and let me know how it goes. Remember to hit the like button below as well as leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. And if you haven't before, remember to hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon so you can hit notify whenever I drop a new video. And remember to follow me on Instagram at effortless underscore fashion. And that's fashion with two ends, of course. So till next time, guys, you don't know enough. Stay stylish.